Hello there, my Pisces Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Pisces. Y'all water signs. I feel like half of y'all are surfing the, the wave. The other half of you are getting sort of stuck in the, the wave wash, right? As the wave starts to break. And the smart ones of you are... Sitting on your ass in the sand with a drink in hand. So, what the fuck is the vibe with you, Pisces? Hopefully you're in the latter, right? You're kind of just uh, more focused on you, not being overwhelmed. So, what you got going on here, Pisces? A lot of judgment when it comes to something. So, some of you could be doing a contest. There's the Virgo vibes. There's the High Priestess energy. There's the Eight of Wands. There's the Knight of Pentacles. There's oh, some of you. Does someone start paying more attention to their astrology? Because Mother Mary feels like uh, astrology right there at that. And there's the Three of Pentacles. So maybe you know your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or your Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yeah, this should be a very peaceful energy with you. Oh. Basis of all this, there's the Five of Swords. There's the two of wands. Grounded and focused. Not in the fucking water. Not allowing the, your emotions to overwhelm you. Again on this one, not allowing those emotions to overwhelm you. So this could be romantic when it comes to you. There's the queen of cups vibe. Maybe you're dealing with another uh, water sign energy. Ooh, Lord have mercy. So what relationship or partnership didn't work out? So now things are a little different here. Someone could have been cheating on you. This could have been a vibe of, uh, it, it doesn't, I don't, I don't know that there's a whole lot of romance to this. So this could be a friends group. This could be a work group dynamic with you there with the three of pentacles. So if someone was trying to play you, I think they were trying to play others at the same time. So something didn't quite work. So if you were like casually dating and maybe you thought, oh, okay. Uh, you seem like a nice person and then you realize that they're kind of like casually dating more people or they're not really interested in really focusing on you. So are you learning to date like healthy? Are you learning to uh, look at things from a different perspective here? I see some of you this could have been like a work opportunity. So someone could have tried to flirt their way into a work opportunity or compartmentalize your life here, uh, Pisces, work, love, life. So, damn. Don't let yourself be overwhelmed. I think that's kind of the motto for the water signs, Pisces. Picture it. Some of y'all are out there riding that wave. You know what the fuck you're doing. Others of you is when the wave comes down. It's when the surfer decides, oh shit, they can't make the wave. So the smart ones aren't in the fucking water. So you're not allowing your emotions to overwhelm you. So here we go. Knight of Cups. There's to the Six of Swords. There's the Knight of Wands. There's the Scorpio vibe. There's the Ace of Swords. King of Wands to the Full vibe to the Nine of Cups. Lover's vibe to the Empress to the World. Down to the Ace of Cups. Ooh, someone definitely could have been trying to play you with some sort of emotional connection here, Pisces. Ay. Definitely be mindful that someone don't try to hold you up when it comes to an opportunity with you, Pisces. Especially if someone really isn't all that invested in you. So if you're just newly dating somebody and you have like a major choice, a major opportunity, don't, it's almost like don't fuck up that opportunity just because of a relationship or partnership. If that relationship or partnership is meant to be, you'll figure out a way to make it work. Work love life vibes on this Pisces. Those of you that's uh, wanting an upgrade when it comes to work. The fact that you didn't like kind of date around. The fact that you are different here. 
brings about some very interesting vibes with you. You always pull such good cards, Pisces. I think that's why you get all this this sort of uh, uh, negative energy that uh, shows up and wants to be in uh, uh, be in this opportunity with you. Some y'all, this could be like your astrology. So maybe you paid attention to your astrology. Or you stop paying attention to certain aspects of your astrology. It's as much what you kind of partake in versus what you don't hear, uh, Pisces. Definitely don't let the water overwhelm you. Such beautiful energy, but damn. Some of them don't like the fact that they don't have that opportunity with you. This is someone that's dealt with other people. So these are relationships or partnerships in your life, uh, Pisces. Some of you have worked out to your benefit, especially when it came to this Three of Pentacles vibes. So those of you that uh, weren't kind of messy, that's what makes the difference. Especially when this opportunity comes in for you. So... Stay moisturized, stay hydrated, wear your sunscreen, uh, Pisces. Don't feel overwhelmed. Don't let your feelings overwhelm you as well, because for some of you, that's kind of the whole vibe. This is like uh, the surfer that knows how to read the waves, and uh, they only go out there if they know it's like safe. They only uh, catch the wave that they know is safe. It's kind of like that vibe. Some of you when it came to a romantic relationship or partnership. You pulled focus back on yourself for whatever reason. And damn. This puts you in like a better opportunity. I feel like you don't get the broken heart. Because you paid attention when you needed to. So, damn Pisces. I mean, there's just way too much on this. But I don't feel like it's like way too much on behalf of you. So... Retrograde vibes, this could be in your astrology, so watch your favorite astrologer, uh, Pisces. Some of y'all, this could definitely be retrograde vibes, too, with the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles there, and there's the, oh, there's the Scorpio vibe. Some of you, it was like a love opportunity that would have just created a lot of stagnation, so, I mean, for fuck's sake, right? If you start dating somebody and you have a major career choice... It might seem a little tough, but damn. Was it really for you, or was this just someone that just kind of wanted to get it right on your vibe? So, catfishing, gaslighting, ghosting, all that, all that shit, uh, Pisces. Take what's yours, leave what's not. Oh, I love this energy for you, Pisces. I see someone could be trying to send you mixed messages or someone could be trying to sort of like uh, uh, mix signals, mix vibes here. So definitely be mindful of the over nosy uh, type vibes in your life right now too, Pisces. I feel like this is probably more work related than anything else when it comes to you, Pisces. So keep that energy in mind. So what's up with this? Page of Cups energy. The Lovers, the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Cups, they're with the Libra energy. Over top of all that is the Knight of Pentacles. This is like good retrograde vibes. For some of you, it will be taken into consideration, especially if you want to upgrade. If you're not somebody that kind of uh, makes their work life messy, that could make all the difference when it comes to an opportunity with you, especially if you want to upgrade, especially if you want the opportunity to move forward. So those of you, I feel like you were single. I feel like some of you made some choices. And it brings about very interesting vibes with you. So, damn Pisces. Yeah, Archangel Michael vibes on that. 
Anything else for Pisces? If someone's getting readings on you, Pisces, they don't like the fact that everything comes up positive for you. <laughs> I like this with you. Four of a pentacles there at the seven of wands. Those of you that just started maybe paying attention to the basics when it comes to your astrology. So, um, however you look at astrology, however that sort of vibes with you, whatever that is about when it comes to you. Or those of you that just basically got stingy and pulled more focus on yourself. Because I got a little bit of stubbornness on this too, uh, uh, Pisces. But stubbornness in a good way. It's stubbornness in a good way. Damn, look at that. Some of you like dealing with dreams blockers, blessings blockers, or uh, whatever the hell type of vibe this is. So, damn. Just pulling focus back on you. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Ooh. Take what yours, leave what's not Pisces. I like this energy. Just keep making the smart choices. What's your focus? If you want to upgrade, kind of, you got to act like you're in that energy to upgrade. So those of you that didn't make uh, things way too complicated for yourself, that actually brings about a very better vibe for you. I also avoid you getting heartbroken here because uh, you paid attention when you needed to. Beautiful blessings vibe. So stay focused on you. Stay hydrated, stay moisturized, all that good stuff. Get those ideals to yourself. Keep chasing those dreams. That feels like your duality, to be quite honest with you, uh, Pisces. I don't think you're going to go into a relationship or partnership. I think your relationships or partnerships are going to be better. Uh, however they show up in your life. Could definitely be just the yin-yang within you. That nice little balance of masculine and feminine. So, my creatives, this is a good creative energy. Those of you, when it comes to work opportunities, it's a fertile vibe. So, take what's yours, leave what's not. Don't let the, your emotions overwhelm you. Because that's going to be the whole fucking point of this, is the emotional connections. Especially when it comes to, like, romance. Romance in the workplace. This definitely feels like romance in the workplace. So, damn. Damn. Good luck, God bless. Take what's yours, leave the rest, Pisces. Like, share, subscribe.